You think that you need years of experience, special certifications, college degrees, or some type of coding experience to get your career started in cybersecurity? Wrong. In this video, we're gonna continue showing you how you can start a cybersecurity career in seven days or less. Are you ready to go? Let's jump right in. Hey Cyber Heroes, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm Boyd Clewis, an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help IT guys upgrade their jobs into a six-figure cybersecurity career. Okay guys, if you're joining me and this is your first video, you need to stop and check out the previous week's video about how to get your cybersecurity career started in the next seven days because there's some important training and job specific details that you're gonna need before you continue with this video. So I'm gonna give you like five seconds to exit in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so if you're still here, that means it's time to rock and roll. Let's get started on building on what we learned last week. So what I'm gonna do is give you a quick re recap. So what we did last week is we talked about in-demand skills, vulnerability management. And we talked about three different vulnerability management roles. We talked about the vulnerability scanner operator. We talked about the security analyst and the compliance analyst. And by now, if you're here on this video, you should be a certified Qualis Guard specialist. Congratulations, you did it. And I saw several people in the comments that took me up on my advice and went through the training and got the certification. Congratulations to you for taking action. People that take actions are the ones that get the results instead of standing by and watching the game. So now that you got the certification, hopefully you took your time and you got the skills to go along with it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to turn that certification and those skills into a brand new job. All right guys, so now that we got the skills dialed in, it's time to do what a good hacker does before they infiltrate a network. And you might be wondering, what is that? Recon. We're getting ready to do some job recon. It doesn't matter what skills you have if you don't know who's looking for them or how to leverage them into a new position. So what we're gonna do right now is do a little bit of research before we actually go into the process of formatting our resume to be able to make this transition into cybersecurity. So stand by, let's go into LinkedIn and do a little bit of recon. All right guys, I got my LinkedIn page here. There I am, I got my LinkedIn page here. And if you are not following me, hit me up, man. Tons of information, good insight on my channel. I mean, on my LinkedIn page. Okay, anyway, so first of all, if you don't have a LinkedIn page, you need to get one. Let me know in the comments if you want me to put together a LinkedIn training, show you how to really maximize opportunities there. LinkedIn is a phenomenal place of where employers of all sizes gather to post jobs, right? I'm talking about good quality jobs. So before we can actually get to the place where we're applying for jobs, what most people do is they go wrong is they start searching for job titles. And based on job titles, then they submit applications. Well, companies don't care about your previous job titles. What they care about is what skill set you have. So based on what we did last week, we learned vulnerability management. So things we want to type in is Qualys, right? I'm in the United States of America, so I like to leave my geographic location to United States because I prefer remote work. If you limit yourself to your geographic location, you're gonna limit your income to that geo area. Did you hear me? Let, 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 let it rewind, 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 and let me say that again. If you search for jobs based on where you live, you're going to limit your income based on the geographic area. For example, if I live in Dallas, Texas, and I get a job in Dallas, they're gonna base my salary off the cost of living in Dallas. But if I live in Dallas and I get a job that's in California, well, guess what? They're gonna base the wage off of California, which is more than Dallas. I'm gonna make more money. You gotta pay those California taxes, but understand what I'm saying. Anyway, so I typed in Qualys and look at the type of jobs that are coming back. So we can go even further, we can go to entry level. So let's just say that we're gonna look for entry level positions for Qualys. 
So we see that there's someone looking for an identity and access management engineer, security engineer at Tesla. We got technical product managers. Hey, one of my um, former co-workers, former employees works at Qualys now. I mean, at, yeah, at Qualys. I know who you are, Tracy. Um, CrowdStrike. All right, so anyway, so we go through here and we find what they're looking for, right? So we did the filter on entry level, but what it comes down to is we want to see what they are requiring. What is this role going to do? Overseeing the planning, design, implementation, and administration of all um, security systems, all right? They're telling you what it is that they're looking for. And with this being said, we want to try to incorporate some of the keywords, especially in special skills. We want to try to incorporate some of these special skills into our resume so that we can apply for jobs like this and be seen as a good fit. So you got like NIST 800, that's something that you could look up and learn online. You got uh, VMware, vCloud, those are things that you can learn online. But here we go. Familiarity with vulnerability scanning tools such as Tenable, Rapid7, Qualys. So we know that having the skills for the vulnerability management position, for the vulnerability management um, skills is gonna help us in these type of roles right here. Maybe not this specific position because this looks to be a little senior. Yeah, because they're asking for five years of experience with this. But you can go around here and find jobs that are entry level positions. You just got to do some research. We at least know what keywords that we need to put in our resume. Vulnerability management, um, Qualys, vulnerability scanning, because everything that goes on your resume becomes a searchable item to recruiters when they're actually looking for uh, new candidates for positions. OK, so do your job recon. Find five jobs that you're interested in that at least matches your experience and find the specific keywords that they're talking about, like incident investigations, critical thinking, problem solving, vulnerability management, defender, sentinel. Find key elements that matches your expertise and create sort of like a little running sheet because we're going to use that information to create a supercharged resume. I'm going to call this section writing the script. I mean, if you think about getting a job, it really is like pen testing. You got your recon, you write your script that you're going to use to attack the systems, the network, and then you launch the attack. So we're going to call this writing the script. Let's go. We need to tailor our resume so that it stands out. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go over the whole resume process, but I am going to show you what needs to be on your resume so that um, you can land some of these jobs. So where people often go wrong is they mess up with the bullet points. So in this section right here, this video, I'm going to show you my six figure resume bullet point writing style, right? That is responsible for millions upon millions of dollars in cybersecurity roles. So check this out. I'm going to walk you through this process real quick. Okay, guys, so let me give you some truth that may go over your head, all right? So remember last week that I had you guys, if you didn't have a work email, create, go to godaddy.com, buy a 99 cent domain, right? You're gonna use this because this is gonna be new, your new employer. And let me, let me preface by saying this. Your experience is your experience and how you choose to tell it is your business. Nobody can take experience away from you from things that you've done just because you haven't been compensated for it. Hear what I'm saying? So take this for example. If you are the family IT guy and you go around and setting up wireless networks, configuring cell phones and setting things up for people in your family, that is IT support and that is experience that you can leverage on your resume. You would just put it at your name, whatever company that you decide to do business at. Right. Before I started my IT career, I got a lot of experience by being the family IT guy. And my company at the time was called Autex Solutions, which awesome, Autex stands for awesome techs. Anyway, so I would put all of the experience that I had with setting up routers, Wi-Fi networks, just around people's homes and residentials. 
And I would write bullet points on my resume about how I added value and helped solve problems with that. And that experience I used to land jobs, right? Same thing now. You may be wondering like, how am I supposed to get into IT if nobody will hire me? You don't have to be hired to do the work. So this next career step for you should actually be a transition, not the beginning. So what I'm telling you is you can get experience. And with that being said, if you did the Qualys training last week, guess what? You got experience now. You ran a vulnerability scanner. You configured a vulnerability scanner. You looked at remediation. You analyzed the results. So now I'm gonna show you how to put that together in order to build a powerful resume to help you land a new job. All right, so this is my six figure resume formula. Let's go. So this is one thing that you gotta understand when it comes to this resume formula. It goes W, H, W, and I'm gonna break it down for you. So it is what you accomplished, how you accomplished it, and what was the benefit to the business. If the bullet points on your resume cannot answer yes to each one of those questions, it is a invalid bullet point. It doesn't show value. If you wanna get paid, you don't get paid for certifications, you get paid for bringing value to the business. Writing your resume like this is gonna show what value you bring, therefore people will hire you, bringing you the dough. So let me start off by showing you what most people do. This is bad, this is bad. They work for years as a vulnerability analyst, running vulnerability scanners, tracking down vulnerabilities, identifying issues on critical systems and software, only to write down RAN vulnerability scanner. I kid you not, pisses me off because you're devaluing yourself and then you wonder why you have a small paycheck. If you don't see the significance in what you do, how do you expect a company to see the significance in what you do and compensate you for it? It's not in congruence, it doesn't line up. So this is the bad example. Let me show you what you need to do. Instead, I'm gonna break it down for you. Here's a great example. Removed over 15,000 security vulnerabilities in a single month by configuring and optimizing the Qualys Guard vulnerability scanner to identify system security flaws on critical systems. This reduced security risk and allowed the company to be PCI DSS compliant. That is so freaking powerful. So powerful. Number one, we've quantified our value. We removed 15,000 threats that could have impacted the company in a single month. So someone reading your resume might wonder, oh, if they did that in a month, what could they do for me in a year? See what I'm saying? Your, your resume is a place, it is your brag book. It should be nothing but accomplishments, not bullet points stating what you did, what you accomplished. So we talked about what we accomplished, removing the 15,000 security vulnerabilities, right? We talked about how we use the Qualys Guard tool, the vulnerability scanner, we configured and we optimized that thing. And what was the business impact? We allowed the company to become PCI DSS compliant because if they weren't PCI DSS compliant, they could potentially be fined millions of millions of dollars. And this is actually a bullet point from my resume from back in my days when I ran the Koala scanner. So everything that I tell you guys and I give you is based on my experience. I don't fabricate anything. I don't try to give you guys stuff that I heard online. I only do what has worked for me. So guys, that is the way that you write powerful, powerful bullet points that are guaranteed to get your phone ringing with six figure opportunities. So you can start a six figure career. If you start an entry level, your first job may not be six figures, but you can rest assured within a couple years, you could be making six figures in no time. Now, what you have to understand is you need to have these bullet points written properly on your resume, and you also need to have your skill section updated in your resume that shows the skills like vulnerability management, Qualys Guard, vulnerability scanning, risk ranking, system inventory, that, that type of stuff. It needs to be on your resume. Again, those are more search features for recruiters to find you. 
All right, guys, so we got our details written, we've done our recon, we've written our script. Now we need to format it to make sure that it works properly, right? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you one of my favorite sites that I use that will actually give you insight on how to format your resume so that it is compliant with ATS systems, which is application tracking systems, as well as the other job board sites that I'm gonna show you later in this video. So hang on and let's jump right in. All right, guys, this is one of my favorite websites, Job Hero. Job Hero allows you to get sample resumes for different types of roles. So in this specific example, I typed in information security analyst, and I can go here and I can look at all of these different type of resume examples. And it, it will allow me to copy some of these bullet points. Now you don't wanna use these word for word, but they'll give you good examples that you can use to run through the six figure resume formula so that you can build out a stronger resume. And then you can look at how the resume is formatted, even download templates so that you can formulate, format your resume properly before you get it uploaded to the job sites. All right guys, it's time to launch the attack. It is time to get into cybersecurity. And for some reason, people always forget that in order to get into cybersecurity, you need a job interview, right? So we're gonna help you to generate some interviews. I'm gonna give you my two top sites for doing this. Number one, of course, you have LinkedIn, which are right here. Here's something you need to do that most people completely forget, and if you forget this, it's not gonna work. You need to go, after you create your profile, if you don't have one, you need to go over to Jobs, and then Resume Builder. You need to upload your resume into the resume builder. Number one is gonna allow recruiters to find you. Number two is gonna give you the option to do the quick apply from your LinkedIn profile. If you don't have that updated on your LinkedIn profile, it's doing you a disservice. Now again, if you guys want a LinkedIn training on how to optimize your LinkedIn, because I get, I don't know, 40, 50 job calls every single week. My students the same because we use LinkedIn formula that I created, let me know in the comments and I'll hook it up for you. Anyway, so this is one of the solutions that I recommend using. Let me show you the other one real quick. The next website that I recommend for using to find tech jobs is dice.com. So you can come over here and type in Qualys as the keyword, United States. And boom so many different job opportunities just with the vulnerability in mind. And look at that, a junior security analyst, look at that. Associate principal. So there's lots of opportunities. Staff level engineer. Staff level, that's entry level, guys. Dice.com, get your profile set up on Dice. Once you get your resume done with the right skills, the six figure bullet points on there, upload your resume to Dice and LinkedIn.com so that you can be in better position to land a job. I'm telling you, this right here is, it's powerful, very, very powerful. Just those two sites alone, you should be able to generate interviews. As a matter of fact, after you do that, let me know in the comments what type of interviews you landed. How many phone calls are you getting? Make sure that your contact information is up to date on your resume and on your profiles so when hiring managers and recruiters reach out, they can actually find you. Hey guys, we made it to the end. If you put all this together, you'll be able to start your career in cybersecurity in no time. Question for you, were you aware that you could find cybersecurity roles on Dice and LinkedIn.com? Did you know about the LinkedIn resume? Most people completely missed that. Let me know down in the comments. Also, again, if you'd like me to hook up a video going over how to supercharge your LinkedIn profile, let me know, I'll put together a training for you. Until then, if you're looking for a group of IT professionals to connect with on this journey that you can bounce ideas off of, I invite you to join my private community of cyber heroes called the IT Authority. All you have to do is click the link in my bio, answer a couple questions, and boom, you're right into the community, all right? So be sure, before you head over, to like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a heart, subscribe to the channel so that you're notified each week when I drop new content to help you take your cybersecurity career to the next level so you're earning six figures and beyond. And man, I'm looking forward to hearing your success story. As a matter of fact, drop it in the comments when you get your first cybersecurity interview and scream even louder once you learn your first cybersecurity role. I'm looking forward, I can't wait to see all of the wonderful comments. You guys have a great one and I'll see you next week.